Today I will be reviewing the Paragear 10mm f5.6 fisheye lens for Fuji X-mount APS-C cameras. First off, let's go over some important information about this lens. It's a Fuji X-mount lens. It's a manual focus lens. It's a fixed 5.6 aperture, smooth focus ring. It has a solid metal construction, weighs about 100 grams, small compact size, built-in lens hood, and it costs 89 US dollars. Comes with a metal front cap and a plastic rear cap. For this review, I will be doing some sample images and some video clips and using my Fujifilm X-H1 camera. As you can see, I'm mounting it onto the camera right here. So, what do you say we get started? Let's have some fun, rock and roll. All right, guys, well, mounted the Paragear lens to the Fuji X-H1. And today, I'm gonna go around town and take some stills and some video with it. So you guys see what this uh, fisheye pancake lens can do. 10 millimeter on APS-C lens is equivalent to about a 16 millimeter focal length. So 5.6, you cannot change the aperture. It's a fi fixed 5.6 aperture lens. So we started the day, had some lunch, took a shot right here. You can get really creative with this lens. The focus is smooth and it's not hard to acquire focus if you're using a peaking on your camera. When you're doing shots like this, all I did was set it to infinity and you're pretty much in focus. The whole scene is in focus. Doing some video clips. I took a few stills here on these next images with the flag, the sun behind the flag. Let's zoom in here and see the detail of this still image. If you're doing video clips and you're doing walkthrough videos like we see on YouTube, you probably wouldn't use a lens like this one. This lens is for specialty wide angle shots with an effect, as you can see the fisheye effect in the corners. I tried doing some walkthrough videos like you see here, but it's really hard without stabilization. If you have a gimbal or a steady cam, this would be a really nice wide angle footage to use. Static shots and semi pan footage like this one, it's fine. It does a really good job. It adds a really nice effect. Here's some still images. Here's the brand new Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max that just came out. I'm capturing this image maybe a half inch away from the lens element, very close distance. Now, I was at the Apple store. And I was very curious to see what the new iPhone 13 footage looks like. So I shot some clips and I transferred it via AirDrop. While I was transferring the footage, notice how many iPhones it picked up. <laughs> I'm at an Apple store after all, right? So here we go, guys. iPhone 13 Pro Max 4K 30 footage. Looks very clean. I said, you know what? Might as well. I'm here. Let me shoot the camera and lens with the new iPhone that everyone's talking about. And everybody keeps talking about this new cinematic mode, so I had to try it out. So here it is. I have mixed feelings about this. Here's cinematic mode. It does a good job panning on top, but then when it comes down to the camera, it has some trouble uh, doing a smooth focus pull. This is not an iPhone 13 review. I just happened to be here, and I said, why not? Just in case you're in the market for one, here it is, cinematic footage. Not too thrilled about it. However, this is a phone, this is a iPhone, so you can't ask for much, I guess. Well, let me rephrase that for a second. We can't ask for a lot because we're paying a lot of money for these iPhones. Anyway, back to the 10 millimeter review. I was checking out the new IMAX and the computers. I put some Vahography videos. I wanted to see how it looks with these new screens they have. And then this. What do you guys think? Should I get this computer? That is, oh, that's my next workstation. That's my next workstation. So in this footage, you see the screen of that Apple monitor. A beautiful monitor, by the way. Just look at that tower. You can imagine how powerful this computer is. But it's very apparent that the lines are not straight. This is a fisheye lens. And you're going to get curvature and the edges. This is a special effect small compact lens. 
Now, watch out for the edges, guys, because it's very easy to get your fingers in the shot when you're focusing. This is how super wide this lens is. As you can see, my fingers are in the shot as I'm focusing. So watch out for that. Use your fingertips as much as possible. Hey, look, it's one of my latest videos. Did you get a chance to watch that one? If not, click the link above. So this next test, we're going to take a look at background blur, bokeh. This lens is a fixed 5.6. So I'm very close to this tower. As you can see, it has some bokeh, it has some background blur, not bad. So far, I am very pleased with the quality I'm getting with this Paragear 10 millimeter. Let's do some stills of the Apple Store. So with the correct stabilized gear, you can capture pretty nice results with this lens camera combo. The X-H1 has stabilization in body, but I don't recommend using it. I tried and I was getting these sticky results. The image would stick and it wouldn't be a smooth pan. The focus is easy to achieve, especially with peaking on, like I said. There's not that much distance to focus. This is a super wide angle fisheye. However, it was easy with peaking. I had no problem, you know, manually focusing. Those donuts look good, huh? <laughs> Where's the coffee? Static shots like this one, no problem. In this next example, take a look at the results I'm getting with the still image. Let me go ahead and crop this image to the Mercedes logo. Not a bad result considering the price of this lens. Now, of course, a brick wall test so you could see the curvature of the lines you're getting. Let me talk to you guys about ease of use. I had a lot of fun using the Paragear 10 millimeter. The size factor is awesome. It doesn't weigh a thing. And given the fact that I was using an X-H1 on this review with a grip, I wasn't really taking full advantage of the size. All you Fuji users with smaller cameras, you can take full advantage with travel. It doesn't, you know, take up a lot of storage space in your bag. So my conclusion is the Paragear 10 millimeter 5.6 pancake fisheye lens worth getting? Sure it is, 89 US dollars for a small compact light Fuji mount lens, fisheye effect lens, why not? I mean, look at the results. This is a $90 lens. Sure, it's manual focus, so what? And you may be thinking, it's only a 5.6 lens, Vahagen. Well, that's all you need. I don't think you need a 2.8 for a fisheye. Now, take a look at this clip. I'm using Ken Burns effect. I'm going closer in to this boat. Now, as the boat gets closer to the edge, I want you to look at the quality at the edges. Now, let me backtrack and let me show you guys the same clip at 100%. Here is an example of how close you can manually focus with the 10 millimeter. These series of shots were taken when it's almost dark out, maybe another five minutes of light. I busted up the ISO. Let's crop the image to the center so you could see how clean. This is handheld, guys, keep in mind. Now, I did do some clips on Vahography videos with this lens. As you can see, here's an example of one of my previous videos using the Paragear 10 millimeter. For more information on this lens, go ahead and visit paragear.com. I want to thank them for sending me this lens for review. Who is this lens for? If you need a fisheye option for your X-mount Fujifilm APS-C cameras and you're on a budget and you don't mind it being manual focus, then this might be a good option for you. Check it out. Like and subscribe to Vahography. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully this review helped you out. It's time to go and let's rock and roll.